people are always asking me for chicken jokes. And all right, I'll give in this time. Why did the chicken join the band? Because she has drumsticks. Oh, jeez. I know, it's tough. But people ask me about these jokes. Okay. Design and use a simulation to generate frequencies for compound events. So this in itself really is a compound event. We're flipping a coin four times, and what's the probability of getting heads four times in a row? Using the multiplication property of probability, we multiply the probability of getting heads four different times. Well, the pro probability of getting heads once is one half. The probability of getting heads once is one half. And as you can see, there's a pattern probability of heads one half times the probability of heads, which is one half. The probability of getting four heads in a row is one over two times two, which is four, times two, which is eight, times two, which is sixteen. So there's a one in sixteen chance of getting heads four times in a row. Not very likely. What's the probability of getting an even number if you have a six-sided dice numbered one through six? Well, you could get it once with a two. How many times do you think? That's right, three times, two, four, and six. So there's a probability of getting it half the times, three out of six times, or half the times that you roll. So we're going to put these two probabilities together to generate a compound probability. So here's our frequency. We're going to multiply 1 16th, which is the probability of getting four heads in a row, times even, so which is getting an even when you flip a dice. So 1 16th times 1 half equals, any ideas? Somebody out there knows, 1 32nd. Remember that if you have a compound event, then you multiply the probability, which is between 0 and 1, times another probability, which is between 0 and 1. And you get a fraction of what either probability is, or a number smaller.